give her the Nobel Peace oh my, Prize. But did you see on Women's Day yesterday the uh, Ukrainian women? That was fantastic with the subtitles. Oh, yeah. Your balls mm-hmm. are your balls are not as hard as our women's balls. <laughs> Russian boys go home. I was like, oh, they're yeah, badass. Just, just <laughs> don't mess. Don't mess with like the Ukrainian fishwives. Yes. Don't go there. They yeah. use <laughs> balls. That my favorite. They use right. the word balls. What? Yes. Uh, according to Business Insider, the Kiev grandma did take down a thrown with a jar of pickles but apparently there's another lady who took down with a jar of tomatoes oh see wow. creative so how do we get works. the migs why can't we ask kelly willis how to get the migs into yeah, ukraine when's, when's the next ukrainian woman woman gonna like throw a jar of bacon at someone so we can have a sandwich thank you <laughs> yeah Oh, Bob. Okay. Yes. And maybe Kelly Willis, what, maybe it's not so weird that she would have an idea about the wit- Migs after talking to Maverick about what to, how we get them. Maybe they go upside down and no one can see them and then they're invisible and boom, they're in Ukraine. Is it wrong that I hope that the lady yelled, have you had your daily serving of fruits and vegetables before she chucked the jar at the drone? Is that commercial for the <laughs> fruits and veggies, vitamins? Yes. Uh, this, I mean, this sounds like, I mean, it's starting. Stop starting laughing. Into, no. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> we're starting to get into Donald Trump idea territory. Yes. Exactly. Where it's like, okay, let's put, let's put Chinese flags on all the planes. Then they'll, they'll absolutely <laughs> think they're from China. Remember <laughs> when he actually flags. thought the planes were invisible? He still thinks yes. they're invisible. <laughs> yeah. So okay. as Buzz said on my show yesterday, what does he think now? Like, it's just a flag <laughs> flying through the air. It's like, <laughs> if we put a Chinese flag on an invisible American jet. Then it's just going to look like a Chinese flag flying through the air and the bombs dropping out. Oh, my God. Underneath. Oh, my God. Such By the way, dumb idea. you retweeted Ron, who said this is starting to remind me of the heavy bloated adult Elvis years into the 70s. The picture from Mar-a-Lago. Oh, and you just yeah. said he's such an impotent, brittle, needy old man. I mean, mm-hmm. the parallel, yeah. it's, it's too tempting. The parallels between Putin and Trump and just these angry, you know, old men that are just, oh. God, yeah, terrifying. Just making everyone pay for their, their yeah. grievances. It's yeah. like they've got a list of uh, complaints, and everyone else is going to pay for them. Yeah, that's exactly right. And mm-hmm. you know, Donald Trump holding court, continuing to hold court down in Mar-a-Lago is one of the most pathetic things I've ever seen. Oh, Reminds me of like they'll have to clap when he bull. when he comes in for dinner. Yes, exactly. Yeah, raging bull. Raging what happened to DJ Lamata. gigs? We're going to make Carlos do the entire <laughs> raging bull in hour number three. What happened to his DJ yeah. gig? Remember, he was going to start DJing on Friday nights oh, at the din- at the at the dining hall. I can't. I just, Bob, do you still this many years later wake up and go, that guy was the accidental president? How did that- thing that I'll never grasp, and I think people are sick and tired of hearing me talk about it. Is, yeah. is a, I still can't believe that what seventy four million people voted for this nitwit, this that- pumpkin head from the Celebrity Apprentice, and decided that guy, hey. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Hey, let's make that guy president. And he just, <laughs> so he's we still. Got stuck with this madman. I, yeah. I keep saying now he is drunk, Walter, at the end of the bar. He just won't yeah, shut the yeah, up and every, yeah. nothing makes sense that he says. It's just like, oh my God. This irredeemable cartoon character from Manhattan. It's just incredible that he became president, that he duped so many people. Hey, look, his con man powers are strong. I will <sighs> never deny him that. My That's God. For sure. Thank you for yeah. being one of the thousands of people who responded to Marsha Blackburn on uh, Twitter who said, Under President Trump, gas was about $2.17, 2020. You said, oh, you mean when there was zero demand because the world was shut down for COVID? Good Lord. Anyone who buys this crapola needs to take the um, person-woman camera test. I mean, yeah. so yeah. dumb. You know, I mean, everybody jumped on that and said, in the pandemic, no one drove anywhere. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's bad enough that Americans progressively have the attention span of a gnat. It's even yeah. worse that people like Marsha Blackburn need to take advantage of that and exploit it. Like, oh, no yeah. one remembers 2020. Who's going to remember what happened in 2020? Let's just right. tweet this out. doesn't matter. No one remembers what they had for breakfast this morning. So what the hell? Let fly. And, well, and it doesn't make any sense. But, you know, importantly, Bob, and you talk about this all the time on your show, but you got into an exchange with Dan Pfeiffer on uh, uh Twitter. He said there's an increasing amount of evidence that the problem is bigger than the Democratic message. It's that the most important parts of our message are being drowned out by right wing propaganda and a conflict obsessed traditional media that nails it. And you said messaging from the party falls flat because social media liberals don't want to be seen as rubber stamps for the establishment. However, PACs and private financiers could be spending much more money creating and circulating messaging. Close the gap with the well-financed alt right. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, because, again, some of the polling, Bob, is disturbing. Like, the, mm-hmm. you know, Biden's not mentally with it or it's that's 
totally Fox News. That is their yeah. every day, all day, every day, their message. And you mm-hmm. and I are watching Biden going, he seems fine to me. Like most of yeah. us stumbles over a word now and again, seems pretty, you know, doing a, a provably spectacular job in his first year. If you look at any oh. barometer, right? Yep. Yep. It, well, look, the Republicans traditionally have always been lockstep, and it's especially so now that they have such a powerful message, messaging machine, which is very, very well financed, much better financed than the Democratic messaging machine. And I'm not talking about the party itself, like going back to what the uh, what I tweeted uh, back to Dan Pfeiffer, which I wasn't necessarily disagreeing with him. I was just adding to the. Yeah, thought, oh, no. I, yeah, I know. That, yeah. yeah. Which is that the, the party establishment. Uh, has trouble delivering messages and making them resonate because I think in large part, Democratic voters, liberal activists, people on social media don't want to be seen as a rubber stamp, as an apparatchik for the party establishment. So we hesitate. I mean, I always show the example of if you go to the Democrats, the, the official Democratic Party Twitter account, they've got over a million followers over there. But if you look at their, you know, retweet and like numbers, they're relatively average for someone maybe who has closer to the number of followers I have. Right. So it seems like that's an indicator that, uh, you know, we don't want to be seen as being a shill for the party. So we're not going to repeat what the party says. But that doesn't mean that some of the other, you know, non-party organizations, some of the uh, some of the activist groups and so on, some yeah. of the, the super PACs can't deliver great messages and have everyone repeat them. Then we run into the problem yeah. of the Democratic Party of voters not being lockstep. Yeah. <laughs> so we're back to where we were before. Yeah. Republicans do fall in line. Democrats fall in love. That's the way it's always been. And yeah. it hasn't changed. And I think we could all do we've, better. Uh, we've know, got to get the message out that yeah. the 2022 yeah. is democracy. No democracy. That's mm-hmm. our single issue. I mean, the yeah. perfect yeah. storm is when Jamie Harrison comes on this show and swears. And then we bring together all the potty mouths <laughs> and the, everybody together for a moment. And to, uh, that likes uh, immature potty mouth humor. There you That's go. That's right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And Bob, I speak no, for I both of us when I say. Okay. <laughs> exactly right. I never say obscenities. It always makes me blush whenever I hear one of your guests say. No, we're a sending bad, you bad uh, word. get the f- out, lady. We're sending that. See, we can. I can hear it later. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Without Thank bleeps you. on your show. Okay. <laughs> That'll be great. And a jar of uh, cucumbers. Okay. Please. I'm on it. Yes. Thank you. Love okay, you. Great. <laughs>